green mask, yellow mask. Uh, we're going to show some more tactics and strategies from the mount. Uh, this time, I want to talk about uh, getting underneath the elbow prior to mounting as a strategy for isolating the neck. And I'll show you what I mean, and I'll show you some ways to get there. So if you can get here, like this, where you've opened this elbow up on the near side, there's a bunch of advantages to this. One is it's, it really helps you hold the gun in side control. Uh, two uh, is that if you can mount with this arm isolated like this, it makes it nearly impossible for him to stop the entry of this first hand. Okay, so like this one's free. So yeah, it's it's really hard for him to get that to stop that first hand, and that's half the battle. And we'll talk about that more in a second. So let's. Let's talk about how to open that elbow up. All right, so there's a couple different ways to do it. Um, this is probably the most uh, traditional way. Is you know, I pass the guard sort of like in this uh, modified Casey Katani position, and I'm just gonna I'm gonna put my feet on the mat, elevate my butt, and I'm gonna walk his butt backwards. And as that happens, it opens up that elbow. Here now, I just close that distance. So I can control here, over, under, pressure in here, and I've got light toes here, and then I'm going to use my butt to turn them in a circle just enough to open that elbow up like that. That's probably the most fundamental tactic for doing it. Uh, here are a couple of other uh, good ways to do it. I'm going to get underneath of this arm here and make a grip like this. Uh, palm up. Uh, and and the, the, the benefit of this grip is that I can pull with it and I can also push. So it's going to look like here as he lays down like this. It's underneath here, going to get a hold of this thing. So he's doing a good job in keeping his elbow closed. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to be pulling on it in this direction. And what I'm hoping for is, is a reaction from the yellow mask. So, I pull up here, I feel him resisting just a little bit, and then I push. And as I push, I try to trap it there with my uh, knee and thigh. Now, usually, you won't get it all the way. Usually, if you're lucky, you can just get half of it. So I'm pulling, and I push just a little bit. And when I push just a little bit, it gets stuck like right around my hip bone. So what I'm going to do from here is I'm going to turn. Casey can come in. I'm going to again put my ball my foot on the floor, and I'm going to use my knee, elevate his elbow, and take my other knee and find the point of his elbow, like this. So again, so here, I'm deliberately keeping the pressure off so you guys can see. I pull, okay, he pulls back, I push, and I'll be right about here, okay, and my legs here, elevating this way, and I catch like this. But a couple of more ideas, just thinking about passing here. If, uh, for example, I'm just doing a, like a leg, basic leg drag, so yellow mask has like a De La Hiva here, and you know, come up, all right, put this thing in here. I should be going to the, like a leg drag position here. Uh, instead of like trying to pummel under like this, pummel over the arm here, and then when I turn, I've got that thing open. All right, so uh, now, let's, now that we've opened the elbow and we've got it trapped, go ahead and, and show the finishing sequence. So we're here, got this thing trapped, all right? Just going to start to bring this arm up like this, high, spider walk high. Get my knee on the chest, pressure, 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 pressure. Walk here and then slap out. So I'm gonna get caught in a quarter guard. Okay, now, like I said, I've isolated this arm out. So I'm just gonna redistribute my weight, put my hand in the collar here. All right, so I got my hand in the collar, my elbow is glued. And what I like to do is wait for the yellow mask to bridge. He's trying to bridge away from me. Okay, right about there is the peak of the bridge. My hand here elbow, fan his head open, so this is a good detail here, pushing away, and then here, make the grip, coming up, and I bring my head, 
from the two or the three o'clock position to the 12 for the finish. All right.